got this for two dollars and I want it to be cropped and maybe taken <laughs> noodles. I want it to be cropped and maybe taken in a little bit on the sides. And so we're gonna try to do that to a knit sweater without destroying it. And I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. I'm going to be keeping and using this bottom part, but it has these giant pockets that are in the way. So the first thing I'm doing is removing those. Then you want to figure out the length by just putting it on and looking in the mirror. And then also account for the fact that we'll be using this band. So just try to get an idea of with the band and your sweater where you're gonna want that to hit. I'm just marking this with a pin, so when I take it off, I know where I'm cutting it. All right, now it's time to cut. I do not have any fancy tools like that rolly, rolly cutter. I just got some regular scissors. So I did kind of measure the length from where I'm cutting down to the bottom just so I can kind of make sure that's a similar length on the sides. But yeah, you just want to make it as straight as possible. Oh, and I'm not just cutting where I, right where I wanted it, I'm cutting it with a half an inch seam allowance as well. Now, I need to cut off my band and also include half an inch for the seam allowance. Okay. Beep, beep. Great. Okay, ignore this super weird camera thing going on. I don't know how else to do this. Um, so I have it back on because I was thinking I was also wanting to take in the sides. Maybe I don't need to. Well, one thing I need to do for sure is shorten this band. Okay, I just kind of did a bunch of stuff off camera. Um, the band I cut at the seams on both sides. So I basically have two strips and now I have them pinned together. Um... I might have not needed to do both sides, but I wanted it to still be the center, whatever. We'll see. But now I'm just trying to see if I like this size here. It's kind of not really a good way to know. So you just do it and hope for the best. Okay, I have my band right sides together. And again, like I said before, I have this cut into two pieces. So I just need to sew this side, sew this side in a straight line. Okay, I don't have a serger. I mentioned serging a lot, so for anyone who doesn't know, a serger is a machine that finishes the edge of your garment and trims it at the same time, leaving a very professional looking edge. You want to finish your edges, especially on something like this knit sweater, to prevent the edges from fraying and falling apart. So I am using Overcast Stitch. I will throw it on the screen what I'm using and the foot I'm using. That's where I had sewed, and so I've cut that down so it's just like a little like half inch, and then I'm going to fake serge the sides with this overcast stitch. I think I might actually try to make that shorter because it's kind of sticking out a lot. So I think I might cut off what I just did and make it closer to the actual seam. Is that gonna mess everything up? I don't know. Okay, it's not <laughs> super pretty, but it's much smaller than before. And I ended up going over it twice. So now I'm gonna do that to the other side. Ooh, that side is much prettier. Okay, I started to fit these together to pin it. My original thought before I did this was I was gonna need to take in the sides. But then after I tried this on, I didn't think I would. But as I'm putting these together, I'm back to thinking I should take in the sides. Because if I don't, it's just gonna be super pleated where I feel like if I take this in just a little bit in the sides, it could end up being a cl like closer to the same size. Okay, this is what I came up with. I am just going to be sewing from this angle. Sewing and then doing my little fake serge on both sides. And then this will put me at a place where this is much closer to the size of the band and it will be a lot less pleating that I'll have to do. I don't know, we'll see. 
Okay, now I have finished. I ended up doing the fake serging three times on the sides. And now we can finally sew the band to the sweater. So the very bottom of the band will be on the top because when we sew this, that's gonna be pulled down. And then you want your, ooh, you want your right sides together. This is not my right side since I just finished sewing that. Okay, this is the right side of the sweater. This is inside out so I can make this right side to right side. I also need to make sure I'm lining up these seams. The band has a seam and the side of the sweater has a seam. So I think I'm going to start by pinning those together and then I'll go from there. I'm making sure that where I'm pinning this, cause that's where I'm gonna sew it, that it's lining up to where I want this to be. All right, I've got the band all pinned. You can see when it pulls down, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. So let's go sew and fake serge this. All right, it is sewn together. Looking good. You guys, for someone who didn't really know what they were doing and was totally winging it, I am obsessed with this. I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. And it was only $2. Thrifting is just the best. So that's it. Now I'm gonna go and um, crop all my sweaters. Okay, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.